Chef Lois Ellen Frank, and I'm going to show you a traditional dish today. It's actually blue corn mush, but we're adding a modern twist to it. What we're going to do is we're going to mix it with another recipe called the mixed berry compote, and we're actually going to do what I call the Native American parfait. Now, blue corn mush is made in a variety of ways with different tribes. I'm using a traditional blue corn, which is a flour corn that's been ground into a flour, and I'm actually using a untoasted version today. Some tribes are going to toast it. It's going to give a little different flavor. But I'm going to mix together some cold water. I'm using one and a half cups of cold water and I'm putting it in a bowl. And then I'm going to take my flour, my cornmeal, which is a corn flour, and I'm going to mix it together until it's completely mixed. And the reason you want to do this before you put it in is because uh, it has a tendency to get clumps and we don't want it to. So you can see it's a beautiful color and this is one of my favorite. I teach uh, on the college level and I teach a kids camp and all the kids from all different tribes love this. This is one of their favorite recipes. And over here I have some boiling water. So now that I have my mixture, I'm actually going to start to pour that in. And what I love about this is I'm actually going to mix an ancient stirring stick with a very contemporary pot and we're just going to stir this in and we're going to start to stir it and it's going to start to thicken and we want to keep cooking it until it actually turns into a very thick mixture like a porridge turn that heat up a little Now you can see that it's thickened up. We're going to add a little bit of sweetener. And most tribes and many different nations like to make this dish a little bit sweet. So instead of adding sugar, I'm actually going to use agave. And agave is made from cactus. Uh, and it just adds a little bit of sweetener. It's really nice, uh, much better for you than sugar. And of course, uh, native, because native people have been cooking cactus for thousands of years. So we're going to add just a little bit of sweetener and then as soon as I take my mush off the heat, it's going to start to thicken and this is a normal process. But what we're going to do is we're going to interlayer the mixture of the corn. So I'm going to use a couple of different glasses. I'm going to show you how I would do this. So here you can see the corn and you can actually see it starting to thicken like you would uh, some of a uh, pudding or uh, any a variety of other desserts, so we're going to add just a little bit of that. And then I'm going to take some of my berry compote and I'm going to put that on top. So here's our second layer. We're not done yet. And then we're going to add another layer of corn on top of that. And what's beautiful about this is you can make literally hundreds of these for a feast or a fiesta or a feast day. Uh, any sort of large event and actually let them sit and you're going to get a perfect pudding uh, with a lot of color because as the cornmeal begins to cool, it will thicken. So here we have two layers. We're going to add one more layer of berries on top of that. And then it's ready to serve. And you can actually see the different layers. I'm going to do one more so you guys can see this. So we're taking our cornmeal. Here's just a drinking glass. And this is perfect. We're going to take a little bit of our cornmeal. We're going to line the bottom of that. And again, you can already see it starting to thicken. You can put this in the refrigerator. It'll, it'll be last a day. It'll be fine the next day. And here we have a nice Look at that beautiful blue color. It's just amazing. Now we're going to add our berry compote. And this is very easy to make also. I use frozen berries when I can't get fresh. During the peak of the season, you can use fresh berries. This, again, has no sugar. It's sweetened with apple juice and absolutely delicious. Here we have layer number two. And you can really start to see that. And then I'm just going to add one more layer of corn and just like you would another kind of dessert or puddings with two colors, we're going to add the rest of that. And then if you want, you can top it with chopped nuts. You could top it with a little bit of um, 
homemade granola or uh, something that would add a little texture and it makes for a just delicious dessert. You can see here, look at how pretty that is. It's just beautiful. So we actually have the blue, the layer, the berries, and the cornmeal on top. And then this would chill. And as it chills, it thickens and it makes for a perfect dessert. This can be served room temperature. It can be served chilled. It's one of my favorite desserts. It's amazing. My students love it. Everybody I've ever prepared it for loves it. You can make it the day before. I think you're really going to enjoy this.